How do we properly set our squelch and why do we use it? In the next two minutes, I'm gonna explain exactly that. This is our squelch. So how do we set it? Let's look at this. So over here on our green screen, we have frequency and signals. This here is what's considered our noise floor. So let's go ahead now and draw in some activity. I know it's not the greatest, but just hear me out here. So if we set our squelch down here, we would hear this. If we set our squelch up here, that means everything below, we no longer hear, which means this signal here doesn't come through anymore. But this signal and this signal both pass through our scanner speaker. Raise the squelch even higher, say up to here. Now all of a sudden, we can't hear anything below that, which means only this signal comes in, which is why it is very important to learn exactly where to set your squelch. And the best place to do that is just over that noise floor. So in the end, to properly set your squelch, turn it down. And then turn it back up again until it just stops. Once your radio is silent, that's the perfect spot to set your squelch. Now, if you occasionally get a little chirp or a birdie that you need to remove, you can raise your squelch even further. Remember, you don't want to set it up too high or else you won't be able to hear anything at all. And a few last minute pointers here. Make sure you do this in analog mode. This won't work well in digital. And also make sure you don't have your PL or DPL codes set. If you have PL or DPL set, you won't hear the squelch because your scanner is waiting to receive that tone in order to pass audio through the speaker. No tone, no audio. You won't be able to adjust your squelch. If you want to see me answer more scanner radio tips in under two minutes, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we'll be releasing more next week.